This is the Man in a Room podcast. International News of the Minute is a bit depressing and sad, so I've actually started to reignite my fascination with local news. And do you know what? I love local news. I always have done. I will never forget the time I fell in love with it. There was some weird article about how somebody went away for like a week's holiday, right? This is this is a true story. Uh, apparently, it was, on the, it was in the local news, so, you know, must be. And so basically, they went away for like a week, and they got back, and their freezer door had been left open, right? So that means that, you know, they must have left it open before they went away, obviously. No, that wasn't what happened. What actually happened was, somebody apparently broke into their house, didn't nick anything, apparently just opened the door of their freezer, and let all their food thaw out, and that was it. And I was like, really? What a weird thing to do. Like, in my head, the news would be, some pillock has left their freezer door open. Not, somebody broke in to our house and left the freezer door open. But the newspaper was all like, no, no, no. Somebody broke in and they opened this freezer door for whatever reason. There's no quote from the person in there saying like, oh, what did they do that for? That's a bit weird. You know, if somebody did that, you'd be like, oh, this is a bit strange, isn't it? But, there, you know, there, there wasn't even like a photograph of them sort of looking angry, pointing at the freezer, going like, someone left my freezer door open because it's probably them, you know? It just doesn't make any sense. Why would anybody go to the effort of breaking the law, part one? Because breaking and entering is an actual crime. But why would they do such a thing just to leave their freezer door open? It doesn't make any sense, does it? But at the same time, local news obviously doesn't have a lot of stuff going on, especially where I'm from. Not a lot really goes on in this area. So they have to basically just try and sensationalise certain things. And it really made me laugh because there was this uh, event happening I can't remember what it was. It was some event happening. I can't remember, like I said, I can't remember what it was. It wasn't that important, really. And uh, the news headline was, Billy Elliot star lends support to said cause. I don't know what it was, like I say. I thought, that's actually quite interesting. I thought, because, you know, Billy Elliot's like a massive thing. So it's actually really neat. And, and there's like, so I read it, and it's like, okay. I don't, I've never seen Billy Elliot. I know it's like a big thing you know, with like El- Elton John and all that kind of stuff. Did like a musical about it. And uh, it turns out that it wasn't the... Uh, Billy Elliot movie. It was the Billy Elliot stage show. Which, well, okay, that's fair enough. You know, that's all right. Um, but it wasn't like anyone famous from the Billy Elliot cast because there's no one really famous from the Billy Elliot cast. It was basically the understudy of the Billy Elliot character. I was like, okay, bit strange. Um, and then it was like, oh, uh, they are currently in the touring production of Billy Elliot. Okay, so you know, that's a bit strange but then whatever that's there is a connect it's still billy elliott star is correct is from billy elliott not the film not the actual stage show but the touring stage show right fair enough it's, it's still good you know it's still like, pulling someone's celebrity to be all like yeah supporting this local cause you know and then i thought well how are they supporting it do they like give them money or whatever and uh no is it it was actually they did something on facebook and I thought, well, they, they shared it to their friends or something. No, 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 no. They like to post. Somebody from the Billy Elliot cast, the, the, the Billy Elliot understudy, the Billy Elliot touring person, liked this thing on Facebook. And that was the news. That was actually the news. The news was all like, you know, oh, someone pressed like. It might have even been, been by accident. Because the amount of times I've done that accidentally, it's never fun. You know, like when you accidentally do something on Facebook, it's like, oh, for goodness sake, I didn't mean to like that. Or all that kind of stuff, or you know, when you when you you know when you're on Facebook and you want to sort of like put a either a thumbs up or a heart, or you want to put like a laughing face, a shocked face, a sad face, or whatever. When you put the wrong one in, that's always bad. If they did that, then fair enough, that'd be great news. Billy Elliot star, insensitive laughing face, that sad thing. But no, it wasn't. It's just like they just did a like, which is basically just like like just like just like a click. That's it, and that was the news. That was the news that was. It's like madness. It is very weird. I don't know if, if any other county does that. Like They try their best to try and be like, yes, these are the people that come from here. These people visited here and that kind of stuff. Because when Johnny Depp, when rumours was running around that Johnny Depp had bought a home in Norfolk, oh my goodness. Oh, Johnny Depp spotted in, in Norfolk, in Deerham. Really? Johnny Depp in Norfolk? What? Um... But yeah, it's actually uh, the the best one is those when they always try and make out like when celebrities are from Norfolk and they make a massive deal about it. Because did you know that Anna Sewell, who wrote Black Beauty, either was from Yarmouth, Great Yarmouth, 
or she wrote it in Great Yarmouth. There's a Yarmouth connection there somewhere. She's either born here, she lived here briefly, or she wrote it here. Something like that. Because there's actually a blue plaque on this pub I once saw that said uh, Charles Dickens stayed here in the 1800s for like a weekend. There's a genuine blue plaque that on this pub that basically said Charles Dickens stayed here for a short time. Um, although it's funny because people don't really uh, talk about when Charles Dickens talks about Great Yarmouth because Great Yarmouth actually used to be quite good, you know. And basically Charles Dickens said, don't quote me on this because I, this is not the exact quote. The exact quote is somewhere online. But he basically said that Great Yarmouth is the weirdest place on earth. And honestly, it makes me proud. I love a bit of Charles Dickens and all that kind of stuff. There's a, there's another famous quote, I think it's from Winston Churchill, another Norfolk quote here, where he said about, um, I think it's about North, uh, no, some, uh, North Norfolk is a place called Cromer. It's a lovely town. It's a seaside town. It's honestly it's gorgeous. So I'd love to retire there, actually. And he basically said, I'm not having a very good time. And they, 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 there's actually a, a, a natural memorial to that quote. Like if you, uh, if you go to Cromer near the pier, on the floor it says Winston Churchill, like quote, "I'm not having a very good time" or something like that. And it's just like what, you know. Although I've, I am having a slight go at Norfolk here, but I'm not because I'm proud to be from Norfolk because we are very much self-aware. We don't pretend to be nothing we're not. You know, we're like, yeah, we're from Norfolk. Yeah, so what? Let's just get on with it. Who is the man? Where is the room? It's some guy you've never heard of in a room you've never been in. For more information, head over to maninaroom.co.uk.